Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 30 in chapter 5. And we look at there is a system. Object A and B, we need to find its acceleration. And then the coefficient between the A and the surface is given. So in this one, we first need to solve the problems. And in the problem tell you, we assume the systems move this way. So A moves up, B moves down. Right. So in this one, we can see we do force analysis. For object B, it only has the gravity and the tension. For object A, we have the gravity, tension, normal force, and the friction. Because this uh, A is move up, so the fr friction is down, upside to the motion. And then we can project the gravity at X component and the Y component. We have mag cosine and mag sine. The next one, we need to list equations by using Newton's second law to solve the acceleration. So first one is easy. The mvg minus the ft equals mass times the acceleration. This is so easy. Then look at the object A. We have the y component acceleration is zero. Agree? So normal force minus the mag cosine theta equals zero. And then we look at the x component. We have the tension. Minus the friction, minus the mag sine theta equals the mass A times acceleration. And then this friction equals to the coefficient times the normal force. Then we solve these four equations. We can get this acceleration in this function with the angle theta and mu k. See, in this equations, the theta is given, mu k is given. It's so easy for you to find this acceleration. The second problem is ask you in what situations the system will keep the system from accelerating. What does that mean? From the accelerating means the acceleration equals zero. Do you agree? Yes. Ask you in what situations acceleration is equal zero. So if we want to make sure acceleration equals zero, so we just use this function equals zero and find the value for mu k. Agree? So in this one, we can see the first time when we want to solve the problem, we find acceleration is 1.6 meter per second square after we input the known quantities. The second one, we make sure acceleration equals zero, so mu k, we can get it, it's just 0.53. Thank you.